Well, another way of looking at it, I suppose, would be that, you know, some of us have always interpreted tax as a tax on the capitalist class because we never it, it never reaches our pockets. You don't get to say, uh, yes, I'm going to give this over. <laughs> if you don't give this over, you can, you know, there are serious consequences. Um, but, uh, you know, with uh, it's been very interesting listening to Elliot. I'm going to upset him by saying I want to He's hear... He's not easily upset. I'm going to say I, I want to hear less about tax um, because as much as it's a, you know, much as it's a you know, fundamental thing, an important point, talking about tax before talking about production is pointless. Um, in fact, Phil Mullen in Spiked, um, online economist writing for Spiked this week, has said it's, it's like going to a, uh, you know, a water fight with a little pistol. It's, it's, it's really pointless. Um, Rishi Sunak talking about you know, his great plan for the economy and trying to announce this huge thing. And then it's related to tax, shows you the kind of deep issue with all politicians at this point being able to look at the bigger picture in relation to the British economy, which is that whether or not this, you know, this particular policy is only going to, you know, if it's delayed, going to come in 2029, there is more fundamental questions about how, you know, the production in this, company is dealt, in this country is dealt with, how wealth production is dealt with, you know, what, what are kind of the, the R&D innovations, investment in businesses, all that kind of stuff. I've heard nothing about that from Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak. It's all been a question of timing. Who's going to cut tax now? Who's going to t- cut tax later? And there won't be any kind of substantial benefits for the economy in relation to those policies. 